Racial and disability discrimination within Wichita Public Schools. This from a Department of Justice investigation now forcing the school district to make some changes. The agreement between the DOJ and the school district announced this afternoon. Brandon Stead has been covering this all day and tells us what this all means. Yeah, that's right, Mike. Well, we talked to district leaders this afternoon and we've asked the question that you've all been asking. Why the Justice Department started the investigation in the first place, which is still unclear. Now we do know the findings of that investigation show a history of racial discrimination and inappropriate seclusion of students with disabilities within Wichita Public Schools. A 35 page settlement agreement between Wichita Public Schools and the U.S. Department of Justice, forcing the school district to make drastic changes to discipline and handling of students with disabilities. The 2022 DOJ investigation found three main areas of concern for the district. Racial discrimination against black students in the area of school discipline. Also racial discrimination when referring students to police or security. And inappropriate seclusion and restraining of students with disabilities. School district leaders now addressing the investigation and how they plan to enact the necessary changes. There's a lot of families, um, uh, African American families in our in our uh, district, um, that probably have experienced it, right, or have felt that this is real, that there are differences uh, between how uh, discipline has been administered. You can't have a one-size-fits-all for any solution like this, but to really begin to engage the community, we need our community partners, our faith-based communities uh, to come together um, to really work within our schools and with us and with our students and our families as well. The point for, for me um, is that we can and will do better moving forward, right? In doing better, the school district plans to change their student code of conduct policy. A new district-wide office will have oversight on behavior and discipline management, and seclusion will no longer be used. And there's questions that we will continue to ask as part of this investigation. What prompted it? The district says that the DOJ would not say. We also want to know what schools the incidents occurred.